Today's topic will bear reference to sexual assault, so here is a trigger warning disclaimer. Please click off this video if you feel you may be triggered by the topic. Experiences of sexual trauma can be devastating, but there is hope. Here's how you can start the journey of recovery. Sexual trauma can have a profound and lasting effect on every aspect of a survivor's life. The physical and emotional injuries caused by sexual violence can be devastating, and the road to recovery is often long and difficult. Sexual trauma confronts individuals with emotions and meanings that are extremely difficult to manage and that may have long-term effects. Despite the challenges, it is possible to heal from the aftermath of sexual abuse and reclaim your life. So today I will be giving you three tips to start your journey toward healing and hope. First, if you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm Jordan Travers. I'm a licensed clinical psychotherapist and the clinical director of Awake Therapy. If you're interested in learning more about Awake Therapy, you can click on the link in the description. And if you're in need of psychological or emotional support, feel free to book an initial consultation with one of our therapists by visiting www.awaketherapy.me. Okay, so let's get right into it. Tip number one, the first stop on your healing journey is to process your trauma. Accepting that you have undergone sexual trauma is one of the greatest first steps to reclaiming your life. And studies have shown that a survivor must come to understand the emotional impact of the trauma so that they are no longer driven by negative feelings. And we need to understand the meaning of trauma until an adaptive resolution is achieved because sexual trauma carries a stigma that can make you feel powerless or impure. However, remaining silent will only emphasize your victim status and make recovery much more challenging. Reframing your experience and opening up about it can be one way to come to terms with reality and regain control. You can start by journaling, which is writing down experiences because it can help you understand the events that transpired and can help aid the process of healing. Sharing your story, which is another way to process your trauma with others. You might want to share your story with those close to you whom you trust and feel supported by and assigning responsibility to the perpetrator holding the abuser responsible will prevent you from internalizing it it will in turn help you deal with your feelings of guilt and shame that might stem from the aftermath of the traumatic experience and remind yourself that you did not cause what occurred to you and that it is not your fault the next thing you can do to heal is to try to work through your triggers. Triggers are external or internal reminders of your trauma, and triggers can lead to extreme emotional reactions such as panic attacks or flashbacks or even physical illnesses like vomiting or blackouts. Part of this can be done by identifying your triggers. There are several common triggers that can affect survivors of sexual trauma, such as those people or places associated with the trauma. Once you've identified your triggers, you'll be able to notice them and respond to them more calmly. Pay attention to your body your body gives signals that prepare you for fight or flight mode. Danger signals like feelings of tension, shortness of breath, hot flashes, and nausea are common consequences of sexually traumatic experiences. And if you notice any of these, do not ignore them. Instead, try slowing down your breathing. Place one hand on your stomach and one on your chest as you breathe in. Then hold your breath for a count of seven and exhale on the count of eight. Repeat this until you feel relaxed and calm. And reconnect with yourself. A negative relationship with your body as a result of sexual trauma, though unfortunate, is a natural occurrence. It can make appreciating or valuing your body challenging. Reestablishing a connection with your body might help you accept it and take charge of it. And lastly, remember to lean on your support system. Support plays a crucial role in coping with sexual trauma, and research has found that approximately two-thirds of victims told someone about the assault. Some told a close friend or relative. Others consulted with police, mental health professionals, and regardless Regardless of who they told, an overwhelming majority of the victims found it helpful to confide in someone else. Given this, I'd encourage you to try the following. Joining a support group, having people who can relate to your experience can help you regain control, and it not only validates your experiences, but it also helps you accept the trauma and heal in a safe and supportive space. You can lean on your close friends and families, though challenging, it might be a good idea to choose a close circle of people who will be empathetic and understanding, and seek professional help. Talking to a professional counselor or therapist will ensure that you have the tools and coping mechanisms you need to work through your trauma and triggers. So in conclusion, sexual trauma is a life-changing event, but it doesn't have to control your life. With time, patience, and the right support system, you can begin to heal the wounds of sexual trauma and reclaim your life. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you found today's content both helpful and informative. Make sure to subscribe to receive updates when a new video is posted. And remember, platforms like YouTube are an excellent resource for getting information out to others, but it does not take the place of individualized psychotherapy. If you need mental health assistance, whether to talk through a current issue or to create a more prosperous and fulfilling life, you can book an initial consultation using the link in the description. I look forward to speaking with you soon.